Are you offended by the Paris Olympics opening ceremony? Let's hear this words from Kelly K. All right, so I'm sure by now you have at least heard about the Olympics opening ceremony debacle. And not only have we seen the opening ceremony, but have you also seen all the videos from Christians about how mad and upset they are over this? Yeah, man, they were straight up making fun of Christians. I cannot believe they would do that. I am so offended. You've seen all that too, right? So let's address it. One, if you're watching this right now and you are offended by what took place at the Olympics, can I ask you a question? Why are you offended? Uh, Kelly, how could you even ask that? I'm offended because it was a blatant slap in the face to Christianity. They were making fun of the Lord's Supper. You should be offended too. Okay, 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 I hear you. But did you forget? Worldly people don't have Jesus living in them. They are ruled and controlled by their flesh. You want to know why I'm not offended? Because I'm not going to get mad at a sinner for sinning. I don't expect worldly people to behave any other way. For us to get mad at the world for being worldly is like getting mad at a dog for barking. It's just what they do. The problem I have with all of this is the way Christians are responding. But Kelly, I'm offended. How else do you want me to react? That's the problem. You see, my Bible says, do not be easily offended. As Christians, we shouldn't be offended by anything the world does. We know better. They don't. The truth is I can show you countless scriptures about not being offended. Do you know why the Bible references this so much? Because offense is the bait of Satan. If the devil can get you offended, he got you. When you're offended, you can't hear from the Lord correctly because you're looking through a lens of anger, hate, whatever. And please don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not telling you we need to be tolerant of the evil in the world. We should hate the evil of the world but we should love the people. Yeah, Kelly, I'm not down with all this love everybody stuff. Jesus himself got offended and flipped over the tables, remember? Oh, I am so glad that you brought that up. You see, it's in moments like these that we love to talk about how Jesus came in the temple and flipped the tables. The problem I have with that is when most people use it in an argument, they don't even use it correctly. Yeah, Jesus flipped over some tables twice. How often did he love people? Exactly. Not to mention, the tables he flipped over were in the church, being run by believers, not the world. There's a huge difference in bringing correction to believers and being a light in the darkness. We can't forget that these people that offended us so much at the Olympics are not believers. So this is not a table flipping situation at all. What these people need to see is the love and light of Jesus in us. They expected you to get offended because they would get offended. What's really going to allow them to see Jesus in us is when they expect us to get offended and we don't. Wait a minute. I just made fun of your God, your religion, and you're not offended? No, I'm not offended. I love you. And I know there is so much more for you. You see, we need to show them what Jesus looks like. And Jesus wasn't offended by the opening ceremony. He expects sinners to sin too. But he also expects you to be the light of the world. Yeah, but Kelly, come on, man. We got to stand up for God. We're not doormats. We're not going to let him run all over us. You are absolutely right. But let me remind you of what Exodus 14, 14 says. The Lord will fight for you. You just stay silent. You see, the truth is, God never asked you to defend him. He asked you to trust him. I can promise you this. The Lord will defend his name. That's not your job. Your job is to trust in his promises and be a light in the darkness. God's been protecting his own name for a long time. I think he can handle this too. So let me encourage you today. Don't be easily offended. Don't get mad at the world for being the world. Your job is to be a light in the darkness, showing them what the love of Jesus actually looks like. Showing them that as Christians, we don't respond the way the world does because we have something the world doesn't have. You see, if you truly want to make a change in this world for Jesus, you'll stop talking so much about what you're against and you'll start telling people what you're for. And what are we for? Jesus changing lives. The love of Jesus being all that we need. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. That's who we are. So let's go show that to the world. And think about that for a minute.